guys and welcome to this vlog. We're currently having a bit of a spring storm out here now and we just lost power. So oh, happy to be inside. Oh the wind's picking up even more now. It's a few days later, the storm's over, but it's still a little chilly out. Anyway, now today, Ed and I are getting ready to go and get our first dose of the COVID vaccine. All right, on my way now to pick up Ed, I will let you know how it goes. All right, hi there, guys. It is a few hours later now. It's around 5 p.m. We went for a shot around 1. And so far, so good. Not even a sore arm, anything. So we'll see now what tomorrow brings. But yeah, it's good feels good um, especially with everything my mom's been through this past few months we just wanted to make sure we could get it as soon as possible to keep everybody as safe as possible so now we just wait I think on the paper it said 12 to 16 weeks and they'll text me for our second dose which Canada's really slow on the second dose I know for some of my American friends I think you guys are getting it like two weeks later not so here but, get the first one in, feeling good about it. I'm just out for a little drive now. I love how springy everything's starting to look. This store is one of my favorite stores. They've got so much cute stuff in there. Um, home decor, um, some really nice children's toys. They have candles. Maybe someday I'll try to take you in there. But yeah, it's just so nice and springy out. Everything's starting to turn green. Uh, especially after that storm we needed that rain so yeah our clock tower i love our clock tower and yeah now just hopefully with more and more people getting vaccinated the movie theaters will be able to open soon <laughs> i want to go to a movie so bad i miss the movies hello friends it is now let me think it's saturday thursday friday saturday today is three days after my first um, shot and <laughs> feeling great. I didn't really have any of the side effects. My arm was a little sore. Um, yesterday afternoon, I thought I had a bit of a temperature, but turns out I didn't. <laughs> I just kind of felt a little bit of chill. But other than that, I felt great. And today I feel 100%. So that's pretty good. Um, the past couple of days, as you know, if you've been around my channel for a while, I'm, I'm currently working on a book that's going to be coming out very soon. I'm having a bit of a struggle letting go of it because I keep thinking of ways that I want to change it. So I'm going to give myself a cutoff date and that's the date that I'm going to have to just let it go. Because I feel like um, I, this is a problem writers often have from my experience is um, not knowing how to let go when it's time. <laughs> so that's going to be happening very soon. But also, aside from that, but also, aside from that, the other night I was sitting here and I was looking at, I've got a pile of Christmas books that I love, um, books that take place at Christmas time that I love to read every year sometimes. And I thought, why don't I try my hand at that? So I started it last night. So I'm going to be working on both of them at the same time, finishing off the first one and working on this one. And I thought it might be kind of cute to release this Christmas story the middle of November before Vlogmas starts and just kind of put my own Christmas story out into the world. So that is the plan. And I like that because it's a Christmas story, I kind of have a built-in deadline when I have to let it go. So my, um, my goal is gonna be to publish it on November 15th, which is my mom's birthday. I thought that would be cute day to release it and then yeah so now I have a strict <laughs> built-in deadline because Christmas is Christmas there's no putting it off and then yeah you guys and anyone else who wants to read it um can read it if you like so I'm working on that it's actually going to take place um back home in Newfoundland where I'm from so it's going to be kind of a cozy Newfoundland Christmas story and I'm very excited and um, it's going to include a lot of the traditions that we have as Newfoundlanders because Newfoundland is kind of its own 
planet in some ways. We have a lot of traditions that the rest of Canada don't really have. So um, I think that could be fun. So keep your eyes out for that. I'm sure I will be updating you as time goes. I'm gonna use you guys to help keep me on track. <laughs> so I can just let it go when it's time. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that because I'm very excited. And um, let's see how the rest of the week goes. I thought I would show you guys what I'm reading. Currently, I'm in between two books, uh, which I try not to do, but for these two, I needed to. This one is An Untamed State by Roxane Gay. I love Roxane Gay so much, not just as a writer, but as a person. Every interview I've seen, everything I've seen her talking about, I love listening to her. I think she's really smart and... I just I just love her <laughs> anyway I've read two other books by her one was called difficult women which was a collection of short stories and one was called um, hunger I think which was kind of a memoir and this is a fiction story and so far it's so good but it's I'm finding it a little intense so between when I take breaks from this I'm reading this safe and sound which is also intense but in a different way um, and it's more of a quick read, whereas this is taking me a little more time to get through just because I'm, I want to fully digest all of this. So I think this will be the next book talk you see, and I'm really liking it so far. It says up here, home can be the most dangerous place, which it seems a little um, fitting for currently, especially if you live somewhere where you're still kind of in lockdown. And uh, yeah, so those are the two books. Also, I recently had a friend gift me this bookmark coffee books and Oxford commas. Love that. It's got some little beads here on the top. I love when people give me bookmarks. I have such a wonderful collection now and I try to use them as often as I can. I'm guilty a lot of times though of just dog earing pages. Um, even if I have a bookmark on hand, I dog ear the page first and then I put the bookmark in. Don't know why. I just love those well-loved books. It is Sunday evening now and we are making, or I should say Ed is making, his famous homemade salsa. It's so good. We have it to, and we put it on tacos and it's delish. It's a super secret recipe that nobody will ever get <laughs> unless you buy the Bob's Burgers cookbook because it's mentioned in that on like page <laughs> three or something. It's so good though. It's amazing. It elevates tacos. Every time. Came out today for another rainy day drive. Here's the post office. And there's a little park by the post office. Everything's getting so green thanks to the rain. I know some of you guys live where it's already <laughs> very green, but winter just ended for us. Pretty much. It was very cold last week. <laughs> and yeah, the park, the little gazebo. The post office always does their building up so nice for Christmas too. So lovely. I just wanted to show you here too. This is downtown at 10 a.m. It's a holiday today. It's um, Queen Victoria Day, May long weekend, and uh, everything's closed, and it's just so, just one little car down there. It's just so nice and peaceful. I love coming out on holidays because there's literally not another soul around. Here's the old train station as well. Now it's a restaurant and a museum, like kind of a museum of the town. And it's just, it's so cute. This is where the big tree goes at Christmas if you guys watch Vlogmas. I thought I would come now and end this vlog. I've got some iced coffee and uh, just got back in from that drive as you saw from the vlog footage. And now we're just gonna have a nice, relaxing, rainy holiday day. Um, other than that, there's really not much to report because there's not a whole bunch going on. But um, Ed and I have recently started re-watching, or watching I should say, uh, The Sopranos. We've never, it's never seen any of it. I've seen episodes here and there and I always enjoyed it, but I just never managed to keep up with it. So we're starting from the beginning and watching it all. That's, it's crazy that that came out now over 20 years ago. <laughs> Yikes, it first premiered in 1999.
time's flying. Anyway, like I said, just wanted to hop on just to end it and uh, see how you guys are doing. Let me know in the comments down below how your weekend was um, or is if you're living somewhere where there's a long weekend like here in Canada. And I will see you guys again real soon. Bye.